Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to do uh, trackpad input and to actually get which part of the trackpad the user is touching and how to parse that input as well. So to get started, I've opened up a new project and I've just imported SteamVR and put in a camera rig prefab as well as deleted my main camera. So the only two things in your scene should be a directional light and a camera rig. So to do this, it's actually really simple. Um, I'm going to walk you through the script. Uh, we're also going to need, uh, you don't necessarily need this track controller, but we're going to use it. I'm going to show you how I'm, I use it as well. So anyways, uh, all you have to do is hit um, add component new script, and I called mine touchpad input. Feel free to call it whatever you like. So if you open up uh, Visual Studio, we can, we can see the script. So basically the way Steam's trackpad works is it's basically just like a unit circle, um, which you might have learned from geometry in that um, the right side, uh, it, it maps out to one, left side negative one, so you can get, so they, the values are gonna range between negative one and one on both the x and y axis. And um, to show you guys what I mean, if we look at this code, for example, you can kinda see, uh, let me just leave it in here. You can see that all I've really done is I've said, uh, I subscribed to the pad clicked event, and I said when the pad gets clicked, Let's debug log uh, the x and y axis. Um, and so device.getaxis does get the actual touchpad axis. And the cool thing about this code is if I wanted to get where the user's hand thumb was actually pressed, right? So this will only fire when the actual pad is clicked. But you could also get this uh, if you put it in the update function. This will actually function just as well to tell you when the user's thumb is just hovering over it. Right, so there's two different uh, uses for this. Uh, so in this in this case, what I'm going to show you guys is uh, how this actually works. So if we go here, go to our console, I'm going to press the top middle, and you'll see I'm getting around zero one. If I press the right, uh, you'll see I get around one zero. The bottom, I should get zero negative one, and negative one zero. So that's a pretty basic way to get touchpad input. Um, uh, I would recommend using the, the delegate for pad clicked, and the, the way to do that is you make sure you have the SteamVR track controller component added, because if you don't, then um, you'd have to run a couple bull checks and uh, see if get pressed down on the actual touchpad itself. Yep, so that's, uh, that's it. It was a really short video. If you found it helpful, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, and yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have anything else you'd, uh, you'd like to see.